There's a saying and it goes, if it were easy, everyone would do it. A saying that means those who work the hardest can reap the rewards of being at the top. But what about the folks who didn't have an equal opportunity to even try? Say for making a dope animated movie or a really cool video game, where the thing holding them back was just that, animation. Notoriously expensive, hard to learn, and super time consuming. I like finding ways of making art easier, more accessible. To me, that's like the whole point. Find tools that help you get the idea up here in your head, out here for the world to see, experience, and enjoy. That's cool, I guess, but what does that mean? I'm just a casual viewer doing my midday doom scroll. Art. I'm talking about revolutionizing how we make art, movies, and games easier. This is Marionette. It's a markerless motion capture program. And you already saw how to use it too. You can shoot a clip on your phone, import that into Marionette, drag the end and out points into the timeline, and boom, that's motion capture. But how does someone like me make something cool like an animated sketch based on the video game Uncharted? I'll show you. It was yesterday. We're gonna grab the essentials. All we're gonna need is three things. A phone, a tripod, and a can-do attitude. A tiny apartment kitchen works, but for this, I want something bigger. No, bigger. Perfect. Give it everything I can. I put one foot before the other. I see you got a gun. Oh, this? Will I ever yeah. But still, what am I accomplishing out of this? Well, last year I, I wrote a movie. Big budget, next to impossible to make sci-fi. And, and that sucks, you know? Why are those types of movies barred from us regular folk that want to make them too? Well, then I found the tools to make this goal a little more possible on my own, at home, basically by myself. Marionette was one of those tools that made the light bulb in my head go off and say, Fuck, I have to make this. And the software wasn't thousands of dollars, it was totally affordable. And I can say that this is better and that this will speed things up for you all I want, but at the end of the day, I have to show you. Here, let me give you an example. Problem, I don't know how to hand animate that well. I suppose I could get there, but that would literally take me days to figure out. Motion capture's come a long way in 30 years. The fact that all I need is a phone propped up on something or on a tripod is pretty cool. Problem number two, well that's cool, but I don't know how to clean up motion capture. Marionette has a cleanup button. It solves that problem too. And if you're not satisfied with the results, you can go back in and shoot little parts for your hands, your legs, your face, and drop that in like a little Photoshop layer. Problem number three, this sounds like a pretty amateur tool. It's not true. It's not. For my pros, Marionette also supports DCC plugin integration from Maya and Blender. It also generates footlock, key, and breakdown poses. Marionette is ultimately solving a bunch of problems that I'm having just to even get started. Well, now I guess all that's left to do is to get started. But this is where the time saving sort of end in the now you just have to do the work part sort of starts. Once you've processed all your motion capture that you've shot, you have to get it into another program. In my case, Unreal Engine. But Marionette essentially works with any 3D program. I just prefer Unreal Engine because it's what I know. As you're learning how to make 3D art, it doesn't matter which way you start, the first way you try, it's gonna be wrong. And you're just gonna have to learn. That's the growing pains of doing something new. And I'm skipping over a bunch of things here, but that's sort of the point. Is this whole process easy? No, there's roadblocks at every corner. That's being a creative, finding a way around these roadblocks. And if you really want to make something, really go after that dream, you have to find a way to make it work, always. Marionette is just one tool in your pocket helping you get past a lot of roadblocks, way more than without it. But that doesn't mean you won't make mistakes. Mistakes are where you learn, where you have breakthroughs. I messed up. I have to add more to the sketch. It's just not really that funny on its own that you have to look at yourself in the mirror and realize fancy tech doesn't solve for bad writing or a bad idea. Sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board. So, to the drawing board I go.
Oh, hey. It's good to see you. Teller's men are just down there. Careful. They're heavily armed. Ah, oh, crap. I just faced like ten of them back there. There's not much cover. You're gonna have to face them head on. <sighs> hey, hey I, I see you have a gun. What? Uh yeah. Yeah. I could really use it. Huh. You think I could use it? Th this gun? Yeah. I don't even know how I'd get it to you. Toss it. Now? Yes. W w what if you came over here? W what? Yeah, like just jump. Jump? I it's 15 feet. So? There's a huge chasm. I don't even know what's down there. It's uncharted. Oh. <laughs> so, that was pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. I want you to toss me your gun. Well, what if it's empty? Check. But, <laughs> no. You, you're not even gonna use it. Just give it. I might hold it up in the next cutscene. Be like, ah, freeze teller. And then he's gonna get away. No, Just give me the no. gun now. I can That's end not this. how this works. The, the writers and the programmers. It's, you just can't just end it. What are you talking about? You don't understand game design, man. You don't get it. You're not from hey. here. Hey, shut up. Shut up. I'll be down there in a minute. You're really not gonna help. What, what, what are you doing? What is that? Shrug? So just go face 30 dudes by myself. No gun, huh? You got this. I'll update your map. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Wow. That was funny, huh? All that effort. All those weekends. for that. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. As you can tell, this is not an in-depth tutorial. This is me just telling you about one of my favorite pieces of software right now. There is a full tutorial on Marionette's YouTube channel that shows you how to shoot a shot on your phone, run it through Marionette, and get it into a 3D program so you can actually have a complete finished shot. That tutorial is linked in the description below. Do the thing. Come on, just do the thing. I'm working on a fan film. I have a, other ideas. You know, stick around.